Number four. Are you ready for number four? This is very serious and I want you to please pay attention. The fourth instruction is go on an end of year retreat. Go on an end dash of year retreat. End of year or personal retreat if you want to write it that way. Go on an end of year retreat. You can never sustainably be light and salt until you understand the power and the mystery of retreats. Isaiah chapter 40, please. Let's begin our reading from verse 28. The Bible there spells clearly the condition of man. It says, Has thou not known, has thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, he fainted not, neither is he weary. It's a question. There is no searching of his understanding. Now, 29, it says, He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Here is the condition of man that necessitates retreat. Ready? One to read. Let's read together. Even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall this is not a negative pronouncement it's a description of a condition that is common to all men that the wear and tear that happens to you spiritually emotionally psychologically and even physically provided you are bound in this mortal body that that wear and tear is present with all men that even the youth the bible says the glory of the young men is their strength but that the youth will faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall the bailout is in 31 but they that means not everybody will be interested in this spiritual process but they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles. The Bible says by this mystery they will run and it will look like they never get tired. You are human, but why are you not tired? Because they have found the power and the excellency of retreats. And then they shall walk and not faint. What is a retreat? Let's discuss this point for seriously. A retreat is a time set apart to be with the Lord. Please write. A retreat is a time set apart to be with the Lord, to obtain renewal, direction, and fresh empowerment. A retreat is a time set apart to be with the Lord, to obtain renewal, to obtain direction, and to obtain fresh empowerment. I'll take it one last time. That a retreat is a time set apart to be with the Lord. To obtain renewal, to obtain direction, and to obtain fresh empowerment. So when we talk about a retreat for a believer, it means a time that you set apart to be with the Lord. Retreats can be corporate. That means a corporate organization, a church can have a retreat, an individual, a family can have a retreat. But my emphasis here for tonight is a personal retreat. Hallelujah. And there are a number of things that must be captured in your retreat. So you can call it 4A or let me just guide you many of us do not understand what we need to do during a retreat it's important that i spell this out just to create a guide for us so that you will have an effective and a rich retreat many people just lock themselves and they fast and pray sleep and wake up even watch movies and go out that is not an effective retreat there are a, a few things that must happen in a retreat Otherwise, it's not a retreat. Number one, thanksgiving. A retreat is a moment of lavish, uncensored thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Psalm 92 from verse 1 to 4. It is a good thing, the Bible says, to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises to thy name, O Most High. Reading to 4, verse 2. To show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Three upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the psaltery upon the harp 
with a solemn sound verse 4 it says for thou O Lord had made me glad through thy walk I will triumph in the works of thy hands it is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord your retreat is not complete it's not even started if you do not start with thanksgiving so you are asking apostle if i set out time with god what should happen what are the activities that define a potent retreat number one thanksgiving you lock up yourself and you say lord thank you look what you've done in my life thank you for your mercy is that true you begin to list them you count your blessings one by one it says all oh, that men would praise the lord for his goodness and for his marvelous works to the children of men he has broken the gates of brass he has caught the bars of iron in sunder lord thank you for life thank you for grace but thou O oh lord art a shield for me my glory you lift my head, but thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, the 